Welcome into Chat Sports NFL Daily. I am Tom Downey. Playoffs are underway. We've got three games on tap today. While you wait for the games to get going, or depending on when you're watching it, if there's a blowout or something, some big time NFL rumors and news that are out there. We begin with Brandon Staley. That'll be our top story on today. Show. We've also got some updates on Tom Brady, what's going on there free agency wise, even though. His season isn't over, which is kind of weird. Lamar Jackson future talk and Tua Tungavailoa as well. Some big updates from major media because they have to put stuff out uh, before game days, even in the playoffs. We start, though, with Staley and the Chargers. And there are people who went to bed last night and were like, wow, Chargers won. And they're waking up this morning and are, or woke up this morning, I should say, and are flabbergasted by what happened. Chargers up 27 to nothing, five first half turnovers, and then a colossal choke job down the stretch by LA. They lose to Jacksonville. And now you have to wonder about the job status of Brandon. There's no way you can't do it, right? He was on the hot seat earlier this year. Chargers got going. They won a bunch of games down the stretch. They were 10-6. and six. Tried to win in Week 18. Played poorly. Got Mike Williams hurt. Then came out, had a massive lead over the Jags, and blew it all. The Chargers job, in the event it was open would be the best available job on the market for someone like, say, Sean Payton. It's not that Brandon Staley's been a disaster. This is not an Urban Meyer-esque scenario in L.A. 9-8 in 2021, just missed the playoffs, a heartbreaking Week 18 loss against the Raiders, make the playoffs this year, and then lose again the three biggest games or two biggest games of Staley's career, right? 2021 season finale, 2022. Heartbreak and disappointment and frustration across the board. And although I don't think Staley sucks, again, blowing a 27 to nothing lead in the playoffs absolutely is a fireable offense. That is something you can and you might see him get sacked for. So prediction time. Will the Chargers fire Brandon Staley? Y for yes, N for no. Get those predictions in in the comments section. Now, as we sit here filming, no news on Staley yet. Maybe the Chargers take a little bit more time there. I think he gets fired. Um, I have a very difficult time. The last two games were so bad. How can you how can you bring him back and expect something different there? I think if I'm Brandon Staley, I, I accept the fact that I made a bunch of mistakes this year. He wasn't even that aggressive like he was last year. Go be a defensive coordinator, rehab the stock, and then maybe you get another shot at being a head coach. I know there's women everywhere for L.A., you can't end the season um, with how that goes. You just can't have it. So if the Chargers fire Staley, we will have a replacements video for you guys. Hit that sub button right now. YouTube.com, Chat Sports TV, at Chat Sports. Hit that sub button. We'll have you guys covered. If the ad break comes on YouTube, it's actually a perfect time to go subscribe. I know a lot of you watch the show but aren't subbed. Let's get that changed. Hit the sub button right now. Let's move to Tom Brady and the Brady buzz out there. The Raiders are going to aggressively pursue Brady in free agency. And now that's the report from CBS Sports. Not really new information. We've seen that mentioned many a time in the past. Uh, Albert Breer's mentioned it a bunch. Mitchell Rands. We, we know the Raiders have interest in Brady, right? NFL Network reports the Bucks want Brady back in 2023. And some other teams we'll get to in a second. But it's also very weird to be having this conversation when uh, he has a game to play on Monday. He's playing a football game tomorrow. We're talking about where he's going to go in the offseason. I know that's how it works. It's just kind of weird, right? Four teams were linked to Brady by Ian Rappaport this morning on NFL Network. The Las Vegas Raiders, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the Tennessee Titans, and the San Francisco 49ers as well. Brady was not the same peak Brady we've seen in the past. He wasn't quite as on his game as what he'd been in recent memory. It's not that he was terrible this past year, but he just wasn't quite the same from that standpoint, which I think should raise some potential red flags as teams move forward. The five, the four teams in the mix, then you can write in somebody else, right? Who ends up signing Tom Brady? LV for the Las Vegas Raiders, TB for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, TEN for the Tennessee Titans, SF for for the San Francisco 49ers, or you can type in O for other and let me know what team that is. 
Uh, maybe producer Rolly's thinking he's going back to the Patriots. Who knows on that front? Get those votes in for me, though, in the comments section. Who here has had a tough time canceling a subscription in the past or take an L and admit you forgot to cancel one? I think almost all of us have at some point. I know I have. I think I do the whole process of you got to log into your account and they're going to ha have you uh, forget password because you don't remember what your password is. You type it in, and it's the same one it was last time, but it didn't count somehow. Then they're going to say, well, are you a robot? You've got to click all the vertical rivers. It's a pain in the butt, and that's why I love using Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill. Takes out all that hassle and pain in the butt stuff I don't want to deal with and takes it off my plate altogether. The app shows all your subscriptions in one place and then cancels for you Whatever you don't still want to have. Rocket Money can even find subscriptions you didn't know you were paying for. Or maybe you were double charged for a subscription. To cancel one, all you have to do is press cancel. And Rocket Money will take care of the rest for you. Get rid of all those useless and unwanted subscriptions now. Go to rocketmoney.com slash NFL daily. That's rocketmoney.com slash NFL daily. Seriously, it could save you hundreds of per year the average person thinks they spend about 80 bucks a month on subscriptions the actual number more like 200 plus check out the link in the comment section and the description it's rocketmoney.com slash nfl daily let's go to lamar jackson the latest on the ravens quarterback who of course will not be playing tonight on sunday night football for the nfl wild card round uh, Lamar made his public statement saying, you know, I, I got the grade two PCL sprain is close to a grade three. I want to be out there. I'm not good enough to go. And I'm glad Lamar said that because there has been a lot of speculation about what is going on. And it's nice to at least hear what Lamar's argument has been. Now, NFL Network reported this morning, despite the frustration over Lamar not playing, the Ravens are still committed this offseason to getting a deal done. Now, remember, they were not that close in the preseason. Lamar wanted a lot more guarantee than what was allegedly being offered. But we've seen the Ravens in a bunch of games this year without Lamar Jackson. And the offense is the worst in the NFL. With Lamar, they're top 10. And that's how important and impactful Lamar is, of course, seem to be healthy. The contract, whenever Lamar gets it, barring more catastrophic injury stuff, is going to be among the highest in the NFL. Russell Wilson, Aaron Rodgers lead the way. Kyler Murray, Deshaun Watts. Wow, that did not, those four did not play very well this year, uh, at least relative to their own expectations. But that is the market for high-paid quarterbacks. The Rodgers deal is a little bit wonky, maybe not the best comparison. Russell Wilson's deal, Kyler Murray's deal, are very much in the ballpark of what Lamar, understandably and correctly, is going to be asking for. That is the cost of having a franchise quarterback or paying the guy you think is your franchise quarterback. Now, the issue the Ravens have run into is the guaranteed money. Russell Wilson's deal was not fully guaranteed. No one's deal has been fully guaranteed at the top end of the quarterback market except for Deshaun Watson. And Watson kind of reset the market, and there were a lot of other NFL owners who were very upset with the Browns doing that because now you've got Lamar Jackson. He's better than Deshaun Watson. He, of course he wants a fully guaranteed contract. And if the Ravens aren't going to get it to him, give it to him at some point, if he can ever reach the open market in free agency and stays healthy, somebody will. I mean, imagine the Jets with Lamar Jackson. They might have won the division this year. There will be plenty of interest in Lamar if the Ravens cannot get a long-term deal done. But I do think the franchise tag is still your most likely option. So will the Ravens get that long-term deal done with Lamar Jackson this offseason? D for deal, ND for no deal. Get your votes in for me in the comment section. Some more on Lamar here. Simply put, this negotiation process has not gone that smoothly. It's been a little bit rough. Teammates are disappointed he's not playing. Sammy Watkins made some rather interesting comments. Uh, for a guy himself, is not that good about how he just wanted Lamar out there and was disappointed he wasn't. Clearly, Lamar Jackson wants a massive deal. It would be weird if he didn't. It would be, uh, I'd say his agent, but he doesn't have one. It would be gross misrepresentation of himself to not look for that massive contract. And the Ravens on offense are bad without him. They've been occasionally with the football, but not with anything resembling consistency. There's Lamar Jackson, Tyler Huntley, Anthony Brown. Eh, you know, it goes the way you expect. And it's, I think, only helped Lamar stock. But the injuries are my concern right now. The small, small ones, but back-to-back -back years. 
Speaking of injuries, Tua Tagovailoa, latest on this front. ESPN reports that Tua is expected to return as the starter next year for Miami. He will be cleared well before that per ESPN. At least that's what his uh, medical professionals uh, are confident in there. And the Dolphins were happy with the way Tua played because, of course, they were. He was playing very well, very good football, until the concussions, unfortunately, reared, uh, showed up and caused massive impact to the Dolphins 2022 and course current playoff status as they play the Bills in a couple hours here the Tua was looking like a franchise quarterback now he of course benefited from Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddle but the job of an organization is to put playmakers around the quarterback and the quarterback's job is to get the get them the ball it seemed to work pretty well of course the Dolphins have no viable option behind Tua uh, Skylar Thompson Teddy Bridgewater Neither uh, of those two players have really impressed. Uh, we'll see if they can stun the world against the Bills, but I'm not overly confident in that one. Folks, if you have not already, please make sure you are subscribed. Hit that sub button for me right now. It's all free right here on Chat Sports, so don't miss out on anything, including some AFC playoff picture videos later tonight.